I came across uh, a Facebook post this morning, and I said, wow, it's talking about the exact thing I'm, I'm talking about today. And I thought I'd, I'd read it for you. It says, a fact is information minus emotion. An opinion is information plus experience. Ignorance is an opinion lacking information. And stupidity is an opinion that ignores a fact. And I thought, wow, you know, hey, I want to walk in the facts, amen? And I don't want to be ignorant. And at three times it talks about an opinion. In every one of those cases, it was wrong. So, I don't want to have an opinion unless it is directly associated with the fact. Amen? I just want to agree with his fact, and I just want to say what is fact. Sometimes, in our ignorance, though, we speak outside of fact. And that's why we have to come to the place of saying, God, I don't want to be ignorant of anything that pertains to you. Amen? So let's look at the definition of ignorance. It's basically just the lack of knowledge or information. Now, what God says in this word is very important in relation to that. He says, God, God's word says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. When we don't have the appropriate knowledge or walking in God's knowledge and wisdom, we become fools. We become ignorant to the things that He has set up in the Word, and we can be destroyed by this by sin. Now, whenever I was a young kid, I heard this scripture. I don't know if it was necessarily the whole scripture or just the understanding of the scripture, but it made me react in a negative way. Listen to this: Luke 12, 47 and 48. And that servant who knew his master's will and did not prepare himself or do according to his will shall be beaten with many stripes. But he who did not know yet committed things deserving of stripes shall be beaten with few. For everyone to whom much is given, from him much will be required. And to whom much has been committed, of him they will ask the more. So in my young mind, I used to think, I don't want to read the Bible because I don't want to be held accountable to the truth that I know. I want to be ignorant, right? I want to be like that ostrich with his head in the sand. I don't want to know nothing about it because I don't want to be beaten for the things that I do know and be held accountable to that. I wanted to remain in ignorance so that God would punish me less. But little did I know, I was setting up myself for failure. As God says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. I was walking down a path of destruction because I was being willingly ignorant. I wanted to remain ignorant. I very seldom would pick up the Bible because I didn't want to know. I didn't want to be held accountable to that truth. 